What is up guys, Randomonium here with a special request video. I had some people ask me to do a video on how I make decisions for my roster. So I decided to do one for week three. Uh, so I'm going to go through all of my fantasy leagues. I've got six of them. Uh, but first I want to give you guys a little bit of background on me so you can kind of get a little bit of insight into how I think, things like that. Uh, so I have a master's degree in mechanical engineering. And one of the things that I'm very good at is statistical analysis. Very good at taking complex systems, identifying what the key variables are, and then coming up with formulas or solutions or drawing conclusions uh, from data that is usually accurate. And that's what I did a lot of in my master's degree. And uh, I've gotten pretty good at it. And just for example... Uh, I track pretty much all of my stats for every single game that I've played since about January 1st, 2015. I break it up by roll, I track, you know, CS per minute and all that good stuff. And I've also got summaries of how I have performed uh, over the past year. And from that, I can draw a lot of uh, really interesting conclusions uh, on my play and what I need to work on. And uh, I can look at trends in how I perform. So if I look, come over here, I can look at my CS per minute when I'm playing AD carry. And we can see that it has increased over time. My warding has increased over time. Then we can also find key variables like, for instance, KDA. We can see that my KDA is high. I have a much higher win rate than when my KDA is low. So I took a lot of that uh, knowledge that I have and experience that I have. And I'm also trying to apply it to LCS. And the result is these type of videos that I give you guys on a weekly basis where I'm able to hopefully predict uh, how well somebody's going to do week to week. So I'm going to do another video for the week three, but this is just me, how I select um, my team for this week. So in this first uh, fantasy league, I've got for top lane, I've got Seraph and I've got Capo Shard. Um... Cabo has been performing pretty poorly. If we go over to the stats, we can just pull up the uh, top laners and sort by total points. And Cabo's down here. He scored 104 total points. Meanwhile, Parang, who's not picked up by anybody, is the top scorer. Now, if we go from week to week, we can see, all right, he was pretty high in week one, and he was the top scorer in week two. Uh, so yeah, it looks like we should probably pick up Parang for um, at least our uh, bench spot because it seems like he is outperforming Kapo Shard. So we'll do that trade right there. Yankos is one of the best junglers, so I'm probably going to keep him. Uh, Poe Belter is also very good, so I'll probably keep him. Um, but you can see that I've got two teams. I've got Shaco 4 and H2K. And if we're looking at mid laners, Betsy definitely stands out of my mind. If we look at the stats for Betsy, he's actually one of the best mid laners right now. I don't know why that's up there. That's a bug, but that's Betsy right there. So Betsy is doing really well. Uh, so I'm going to swap out Shaco 4 for Betsy. What? How's that going to violate my... Oh, I've already got Fox, so I can't do that. Hmm, so then now the real question is, do I want to do Fox or do I want to do Betsy? In, uh... For my second spot at mid lane. Betsy is definitely one of the best, but Fox is also really good too. I will... Swap out Fox for Betsy this week. Just to have some fun with it. Okay, moving on. Uh, I've got Zven and I've got Freeze. I like both of those 80 carries. I'm definitely going to keep both of them for support. I've got Spraddle. Probably can get a better support than that. Kiwi definitely stands out. I know Matt has a lot of points estimated. I don't think he's going to get that many points this week. Kiwi, though, is probably a better choice. So I'm going to swap out Spraddle for Kiwi Kid. And 
think that's about it. I could pick up another jungler if I wanted to. Airwalks definitely stands on my mind. Either airwalks or trashy. Yeah, why don't I just pick up airwalks and swap out for shock of four? All right, and I just go to my roster, put H2K on there, and I'm done with that league. All right, so let's move on to the next one. I've got Odo in top lane. I've also got Kickus. Um. I could pick up Parang for Kickus. That's probably a pretty good trade right now because Kickus has been underperforming. And there's been some talk that he might get, you know, subbed in. Like last week, he only played uh, three out of the four games. So yeah, I'll pick up uh, Parang in this league as well. For Jungle, Santorin's available. That's really interesting. I've got Shrimp and I've got Proxen. We go to the stats for jungle. We've got Airwalks, Shan Santorin, Trashy. They're all doing really well. So I probably want to pick up Airwalks, and I'm also going to pick up Santorin because I think that they're going to probably do well. Uh, Shrimp and Proxen haven't done particularly well. I'll pick up Airwalks. And I will pick up Santorin. And my logic and reasoning for why I'm picking these people up is all based off of um, the other video where I lay out who I think is going to be you know, S tier, A tier, B tier uh, for this week. So if you have any questions as to why I'm picking up certain people, it'll probably be answered in the other video. Okay, moving on to mid lane. I got perks in mid lane. That's great. I've got Phoenix as well. Um, I could sub out Phoenix, but... I don't know, Phoenix has performed really well in previous splits. I think that by the end of the split, he'll be a top point scorer, so I don't really want to sub him out yet. For AD carry, I got Wild Turtle and Keith. So Keith is a bit weak. OHQ is available, which is definitely interesting. Go to the stats. We can check out that. OHQ is pretty high up in the list. Definitely much higher than Keith. So I do think that um, NRG is going to do better than Echo Fox this week, so I'll pick up OHQ. Why not? And then for support, I got Adrian. I don't think there's going to be anyone who's better than Adrian for support. And then G2, or for my team, I have G2, so that's fine. All right, so I'm good. Moving on to the third league, I got Odoame and Yankos. Doubt I'm going to do better than that. However, I might be able to pick up somebody better for my bench. So KFO is my backup top laner. This is definitely a risk. I mean, Ray, Zig, no, not Zig, Steve, Wonder, maybe. I'm going to take a gamble in this league, and I'm going to go for Ray. He had a really good week one. They kind of struggled week two, but I'm going to gamble with him, and I'll probably just keep him on the bench, and if he does well, then I can always sub him in later. For jungle, mm, definitely keeping Yankos. Uh, and then Shrimp, I kind of gambled on him. He doesn't seem like he's working out. I'm going to probably get pick up Trashy. Because Trashy's been doing well. And then for our mid lane, Bjergsen, obviously I'm going to keep Bjergsen. And then I've got GBM on the bench. I'm not going to touch either of those people. Uh, AD Carry, Wild Turtle, and I've got Apollo. Definitely not going to get rid of Wild Turtle, but Apollo maybe. Kabi's actually been doing really good at AD Carry, surprisingly well. Uh, if we go over here, yeah, he's number five right now for the split. And then he did well in week one. And he did okay, like B tier in week two. Yeah, so I will drop Apollo and pick up Kabi. 
And then for support, I've got Vander again. I think that he's fine. And then I have Fnatic for my team, which is also probably great. Yeah, no, no better teams. All right, so that looks good. So then moving on to my fourth league. <laughs> uh, I have Odo and Yankos once again uh, in top and jungle. And it looks like they're going to probably be the best. Um, for my backup, I've got Seraph, which I'm fine with as well. And then junglers, I've got Trick as well. So Yanko's Trick is like the two best junglers you can have besides maybe Rainover. So I'm fine with my junglers. Mid lane, I've got Keen and Phoenix. That's pretty weak. But GBM is available. Okay, so that's really interesting. Uh, I'm going to trust that Phoenix is going to be better later in the season. I will drop Keen. I'll pick up GBM. Then for AD carry, we have Zven. Obviously, I'm going to keep him. And I've got Laud. Okay, that's an interesting one. So I could swap out Laud maybe for Kobe. Um, but I already picked him up in another league, and I haven't. I don't have Laud on any of my other teams. And uh, Envy's been doing pretty well. I think they're 4-0 right now. So I'll hold on to him for now. And if um, Envy doesn't play well this week, I might trade him out. But I'm going to hold on to him just until we see how Envy does against some, some stiffer competition. And then for support, I've got Vander yet again. Uh, yeah, he's definitely better than all the other people that are available. And then I have G2 for a team, which is one of the best teams. So I'm going to hold on to that. Fifth league, I've got... Seraph in top lane, as well as Cabo Shard. Um, oh, looks like Parang is available. I think I'll pick him up again for Cabo Shard. Meteos in the jungle. Yeah, I'm fine with that. And I've also got Trick. Yep, I'm good with Trick and Meteos. Those two guys are both doing fantastic. Uh, for mid lane, I've got Huhi and Froggen. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, I thought Froggen was going to do really well, but he, he's definitely been underperforming. Go to the stats. So Fox is definitely up there. Froggen, much lower. And then actually, Huhi is actually performing even worse than Froggen. However, I, I think that... Hmm, that's definitely a, a difficult one. I think that Huhi is going to be much more likely to be picked up by somebody if I drop Huhi rather than Froggen. I don't think a lot of people will pick up Froggen. So I'm going to substitute in Fox for Froggen. And then we'll see what's going to happen. And then for AD Carry, I've got Piglet and I've got Freeze. I'm going to hold on to both of them. Um, Piglet has definitely been underperforming, but I can always put Freeze in. And then I've got Vander at support. Yeah, I mean, Kasing is doing well, but I think that Vander's doing better. And then I've got G2 for my team. So yeah, that's fine. I'll keep G2 for my team. All right, last league. Uh, you can see Forgiven is available. The reason why Forgiven is available is he actually stepped down. He says he doesn't have motivation anymore, so don't pick up Forgiven if somebody in your fantasy league drops him. Uh, it's a trap. And all right, so top lane, I've got Odo, and I've got KFO. Okay, that's interesting. So KFO, like... I have such high hopes for this guy, and he always underperforms, unfortunately. Uh, I'm going to drop him. I think I'm going to pick up Quas. He had a really good uh, week last week. And I, I thought that NRG was going to do really well, and then they had a really poor week one. But I think that they're going to they're gonna start doing a lot better. So I'll pick him up. Keep him on the bench for a rainy day. Uh, for the jungle, I've got Medios and I've got Sven Skarin. That's good. I'm not going to get anybody better than that. Mid lane, I've got Poe Belter and Huhi. But GBM is available. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. Um, I'm really tempted to drop 
who he for GBM. However, who he's been consistent, GBM has not. I think GBM definitely has higher point potential on a good week, but on a bad week, um, I think who he outpoints him. And I think that CLG has a really good week this week. They're going to go into Envy and Echo Fox. So I'm going to hold on to who he for one more week. If he still doesn't perform after that week, then I will sub him out. Okay. 80 carry, I've got Wild Turtle and Steelback. I'm keeping both of them. Steelback played really, really well. Um, and, of course, Wild Turtle is doing well. And Adrian, yeah, definitely going to keep Adrian at support. And then for H2K, for my team, yeah, there's no better teams. All right, so that's it. So then I just go over to um, my roster here. And I'm going to take a look at who I've got available for week to week. So I can look at... For my starters for week one, I've got Seraph and I've got Parang. Uh, 73 points, 50 points, 62 points, 98 points. They're going up against Shocks of Foreign Origin or CLG and IMT. Okay, so I definitely want to avoid Envy this week because I've got two pretty strong opponents. I mean, they, they could possibly beat CLG. But um, yeah, definitely going to play Parang as my starter. Uh, for my junglers, I've got Airwalks or I've got Yankos. So they're going to go into Vitality in G2 or Shocks and Origin uh, week by week. Yankos has just been barely outpointing him, which is surprising. Uh, I think I'm going to keep Yankos for this week. Mid lane, my options are Betsy or Pobelter. Um, it actually won't let me pull it up. So side by side because he's actually here so i'll have to move him over and now i can pull it up side by side so historical week by week betsy has actually outperformed po belter that's really interesting um both weeks so and if we look at who they're playing against more's going up against echo fox and envy shock and origin hmm i'm gonna go risky and i'm going to start betsy uh, but I'll probably have, uh, I'll have to decide whether I want Pobelter or Freeze as my flex. Zven as AD carry, yeah, I think he's going to outpoint um, Freeze. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Okay, I'm definitely going to keep him. Got Kiwi as my support. That's less than ideal, but okay. And then the big decision, do I want to go with Freeze or Pobelter? Those are the two I'm really looking at. So, Freeze has been more inconsistent. Airwalks has actually done really well, but I've already I'm already starting people from Rocket. I think I'm gonna go with Pobelter because he's been consistent, consistent in points, sixty three points and seventy six points. So I'll have Pobelter at my flex. All right, I think that is a good uh, week three lineup. So we'll move on to the uh, other league my next league so for top lane i've got powering or odo i'm going to keep odo in there yeah he's a little bit more consistent the powering is doing really well airwalks or santorin i think i'm going to go with airwalks just because he is also more consistent uh perks or phoenix Definitely perks. Wild Turtle or OHQ. Let me take a look. I'm going to stick with Wild Turtle. He's more consistent. Adrian, yep. And then for my flex, we look at the historical week by week. Hmm. Parang actually has the the highest point total, the most consistent out of all of them. But do I want to start two Rockat players and possibly leave me less diversified? I'm going to start OHQ, so I have a little bit more um, 
diversity in my roster. So I'm not starting because I've already got two people from Immortals and I've got Perks and G2 as my team. So I don't want to also have two Rockat players as well. Okay, I think that's as about as good as I can do for this week. Alright, the next league that I've got, I've got my options are Odo. Oh, and then Ray is my um right now my flex spot. Odo or Ray looks like Odo is more consistent. Um yeah, so I think I'm gonna stick with Odo. Go for the points that I know that I can get. And then for my junglers. Yankos has been outperforming trashy. Okay. Checks. And then for mid laners, my options are Bjergsen or GBM. Bjergsen way more consistent, so I will start him. Then my options are Kabi or Wild Turtle. Kabi's actually been doing really well. I'm going to still keep Wild Turtle in the starting spot, but Kabi will probably be my flex. Vander, yep, we'll keep Vander. And then looking at the flex spots, Kabi looks like he is the best option for um, my flex, most consistent out of them. I could start GBM. Uh, that's definitely a riskier play. I might change that later on if just by looking at the match, but if I feel like I need to take more risk, then that's who I'll go with. I'll go with GBM for more risk um, if I don't feel like I can win. Uh, just a, a straight up. And then my team is fine. Alright. So let's look at this roster. We've got Seraph and Odo. I'm going to keep Odo. Higher points. Uh, Yankos or Trick? Okay, this is a really, really tough choice. So it actually looks like uh, Trick is slightly better, but if we're looking at who they're going up against, they're actually playing each other. I think H2K is going to, or sorry, uh, G2 is going to dominate Unicorns of Love, so I think I'm going to start Trick. This also balances me out because I've already got Vander and Odo, so if I also played Yankos and then H2K got completely destroyed, then I'd have three players that didn't get a lot of points. <clears throat> Alright, for mid lane, my options are GBM or Phoenix. Yep, I'm going to have to take a risk, go with GBM. And then I've got Zven or Laud. Uh, Zven definitely seems like the better choice. Vander's my only support, and now the question of who I want to start in flex. So we're looking at, like, um, Laud is the best by performance, but Yankos is right behind him. And then if we look at opponents, this is a really tough week for, for Envy. But I've already got multiple H2K players. So I think for now I'm going to go with Laud. That's a bit, that's high risk, I would say. Um... But I'm kind of forced into that situation because I don't want to also start three H2K players in a week where they could lose. So I would definitely call this a higher risk lineup, and I'll probably reevaluate that as we get closer to the, you know, Thursday. Okay. This roster, my options are Parang or Seraph. Uh, just looking at the stats, I'm pretty sure Parang beats him out. Yep. All right, definitely going to start him. Looking at Medios or Trick, that is a tough choice. Both fantastic junglers. Medios has been outperforming Trick, so I'll keep Medios in there, but I might move Trick in for my flex spot. Um, look at Huhi or Fox. They're pretty even as far as points previous. And then we've got Rocket Fanatic versus Envy and Fox. 
I feel like who he's going to probably get more points because they definitely have an easier week. I think they'll probably go 2-0 this week, while um, Schalke 4 will probably struggle to do that. Uh, AD Carey, definitely going to go with Freeze over Piglet. Yeah, he definitely is is scoring much better. He was fantastic with his Draven in week two. So yeah, I'm definitely excited. And I've also got Vander already, so I've got the, the H2K bot lane. Um, and I think that they'll do well. And then looking at the flex position. So Fox definitely can compete with Trick as far as points. Um... G2, it has a, a strong... HGK is going to be very challenging for them. Unicorns of Love, they should be easily. The Both of the matchups for Schalke 4 are going to be really difficult. So it's a real question of whether Schalke is going to rise to the occasion. I think that if Schalke rises to the occasion, Fox will get more points than Trick. But I think Trick is the safer bet. He's pretty much guaranteed to get, you know... 60 points at least. So I'm going to keep Trick in for right now. Later on, I'm going to go look at what my opponent's lineup is. And if I feel like I'm going to lose, I'll sub in Fox because he's a bit riskier, but he'll give me a better chance at winning. All right, and then the final roster. So we've got Odo or Quas for top lane. I'm going to keep Odo. He's definitely more consistent. Yes, Quas outpointed him in week two. Um, but I'd like to go for, you know, some consistent players. I've got Medios and Sven Skarin. Medios has been outperforming him every week, so I'll keep Medios in. Um, Poe Belter or Huhi. Looks like Poe Belter is definitely the better option. And then looking at Wild Turtle or Steelback. Steelback's actually been outperforming Wild Turtle, surprisingly. I'm going to keep Wild Turtle in, and I'm probably... Actually, I'll put in Steelback because he is outperforming him. And then I'll probably have Wild Turtle as my flex. Adrian is obviously my only support. And then looking at the flexes... Yeah, Wild Turtle's definitely the best flex. All right, and then we got H2K for my team. Okay, I think that's the the best possible options I can have for right now. Um, one thing that you guys should look at once you go through this process and you get your optimal lineup, then you want to uh, look at the matchup itself. So if I look at who I'm going up against, I can say, okay, uh, how do I think I'm going to do against this person? I think that Oda will score more points than Cabo Shard. I think Medios will score more points than Amazing, even though it says he's only going to get 25 points. I think Pobelter will score more points than Froggen. Uh, Steelback should score more points than Stixay. Stixay has definitely been underperforming. Uh, I can't pull up his stats right now from that page. But yeah, Stixay, or Steelback's been getting more points on average than Stixay, so I should be fine there. Adrian versus Yellowstar should be pretty even. Uh, Yellowstar might get slightly more than me. And then Wild Turtle versus Apollo, I should beat him pretty handedly um, in the flex position. And then H2K versus Cloud9, that's a pretty even matchup as well. So I think I've got, even though it says that he's going to get 487 points, I might get 425. I feel pretty confident in this matchup uh, for this week. So you can do that for all of your matchups. And if you feel like um, you don't stack up well, like if I really thought that he was going to get 487 points and I was only going to get 425, then I'd go back to my roster and I would look at possibly substituting in somebody else who's a bit riskier. Or I might look at who else is available for trade um, that might be a more riskier pick that might help me, um, if I get lucky, possibly win. Because I don't want to just lose by default by playing safe if you feel like you're going to lose you want to go risky so you give yourself a chance to win um so yeah if you guys have any questions leave some comments i'll happily respond to them uh, i love doing these videos i love answering your guys's comments 
Uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of them, please let me know because I've only got so much time and there's a lot of different videos that I want to try and do. So your guys' feedback really helps me decide on what I'm going to devote my time to. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. This is Randomonium signing off.